Tuesday or Monday. 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 We waited Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And we recommend that because we slept in. We like to sleep in. We slept in. We took our time. We went and grabbed some uh, brunch or lunch on our way back to the house. Uh, and gosh, it was like almost a busy day because we had to go. We hadn't packed yet. We hadn't done anything to prepare for our trip. Right. But we wanted that whole day. We had want to have to mess with it we didn't want to get up early Uh, Mm -hmm. almost missed our flight the delta lady at the front desk she pulled us got us through security got to cut the whole line and we were on like they were counting the names of people who weren't on board yet because they were getting ready to leave so really so you don't recommend doing that i pulled the hey we're on our honeymoon card and she Heck hooked yeah. us up. Yeah, I wasn't. I, you I don't get to pull that once. We are, we are giddy. It was my time. It was, in, I had my it was, just married yeah. shirt on, and I was like, "Please." <laughs> <She did. laughs> and in a sense, it was my fault because I knew I should have woken her up twenty minutes earlier when I said I was going to it. I was like, "Oh, I'll just let her sleep. Just, just let her sleep." <laughs> no, that was my my mistake. It was like four. I don't remember. So that's good. Yeah. Um, you guys chose to be pure. You chose to do some things really different before marriage. I was thinking today, just in Song of Solomon, how God gives us this picture of the sexual relationship in marriage and, and what a beautiful gift it is. And, and so you guys chose to do some things different there. So talk about, was it worth it? Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. and I'll just to make it kind of clear, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I mean, purity in the stance of our relationship. Right. We were not yeah. pure. You know, we talked prior about in the past. Okay, yeah, just to, for the people who may have missed it. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, from a physical standpoint, yes. But even even beyond that, I know they say, you know, it's true that sex is more physical for a man and emotional for a woman. But even when, you know, knowing all the times that we, you know, you get tempted to, you know, to right. before you're married, mm-hmm. um, it makes it all worth it. it it's, it's a spiritual thing, you know? Absolutely. Um, like, then you're like, wow, this is like, this is how God intended for it to be. Uh, and, it, and so that was, well, it was more of an afterthought because at the time I wasn't thinking, oh, this is the way God wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought about it later, I promise. I know. Yes. But yeah, it was, oh yeah, so worth it. I mean, and, it, and if I would say the people who, I guess if you haven't remained pure, you know, Start fresh. I mean, make a commitment right now, whether you're dating, engaged, wherever you're at, make that commitment right now. Uh, Because God can make, He can still provide you with that moment and that sense of it being worth it, uh, how we felt, even if you and your fiancé or uh, partner already have. I agree. It's never too late, and God can always redefine things for us. Mm -hmm. It's cool how He did that. So what about from your perspective, Lindy? Yeah, from a girl side was the exact same um, that Matt was saying is there was a sense, you know, when everything's done, the reception's over, you get back to the hotel room. For me, and the reason, a big reason outside of wanting to be obedient to God in that area, but a big reason for me is I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be a night I would remember. So um, part of my choice in being pure and waiting till we got married is you know, the reception's over, you go back to the hotel, and there's something very sweet and um, exciting and innocent about preparing to be with your husband. Mm. Um, it's not like any other day. If if we were to choose to have had sex before marriage, that night is nothing special to us. I don't feel like it would be. Um, it's just kind of like any other night. Right. So for me, it was the excitement, the anticipation of, I get to do this with my husband. I get to be... Um, you know, intimate with him. And so it makes you nervous a little bit and excited. And so when it happens, it's just something so much more special than I even would have thought. Um, Because you feel, okay, God is okay with this. He loves this and he wants this. There was no shame. There was no guilt. There was no um, remorse or feeling like, no, we shouldn't. So it was something very pure for me. And it just kind of lets all your, you know, inhibitions down. So for me, that's what was special about that moment. That's really cool. That night. Yeah, just just the knowing that what you said that God, this is what God has for you. It's a gift He's given you, and to be able to receive that without anything bumping against that, hurting it, shame, anything like that, no yeah. guilt, no none of that. When for a girl, you have that commitment. You're married. And yeah. You know, this is my husband. There's no question of will he leave me tomorrow? Are we going to break up next week? And I've given this man a piece of my heart. 
and been physically intimate with him. So for me, the waiting until you have sex, until you get married, you are finalizing that covenant of marriage. Yeah. So for women, it's a really good, secure place. That's cool. To be in. No, you're not leaving. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> not ever, ever, ever. Uh. <laughs>